All right, hey everybody, welcome to the stream. In uh, today's stream, I'm going to be building, or I'm going to start building the um, um, a demo set, a two-player starter set uh, that uh, I was sent by uh, Protos, Protos Games from Poland, um, for a game called uh, Warzone Resurrection, Mutant Chronicles Warzone Resurrection. So they were nice enough to send me... Um, Basically, like a demo set for the game, and two uh, starter armies, and uh, that's what I'm going to start building today. So I'm going to be building out uh, these two armies over the next few streams, I would imagine, since there's quite a few miniatures here. So I'll be building them out, going through them. And then, um, once I get all these uh, built out, I'm also going to be giving away uh, a set, a two-player starter set. So I've got two sets here, one of them I'm going to build out, and the other one I'm going to be giving away on a future stream. So, um, if you're watching this stream, you're earning... Uh, creds which is the online currency for uh, for my stream and when I do the giveaways you'll be able to get uh, raffle tickets for a chance to win one of these starter sets so let me take a look here see which ones I want to start building out first I'll probably start with one of these two And I'll go through these in a second, what they are. Let's see, these ones or these ones? I'll probably start with these. So in this set, um, there are two... Two different uh, factions that they sent me. One is the... I believe it's the uh, Cybertronic. And... Um, the Legion. So I'll show you guys what they look like here in a second. Let me see if I can find... Where are they? So the game actually has really, really nice miniatures. Gone through this catalog a few times and... Here's a... One of the uh, hero miniatures from the Cybertronic uh, faction. Everasser and an Immortal. So these are the Cybertronic troops. And I believe that's what these guys are here. Yeah, that's what these guys are here. So I'll be building these out first. And then we'll see what other uh, what other troops uh, they sent me in this two faction starter set. There's also Dark Legion, which is these guys here. Kind of look like zombies, undead. So there's some of these that uh, they sent me as well, so we will build those out, but the first ones I'm going to start with are these guys here. So the Cybertronic Troops. We'll get these guys built out. Thank you. 
All right, so let's get start cleaning some of these guys up. I guess that just fits like that. Now I'm not sure if, I don't think there's a difference in terms of which arms you put with the which torso. I don't think they're coded to a specific torso. These two are the same, but let's just double check. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that they all fit uh, the same way, so I don't think... I mean, these torsos are... all of them are a little bit different, but I think the arms and the torsos are universal, it looks like. Let me just check this one here. Yeah. So it looks like you can put any set of arms on any of the torsos, I don't think it really matters. Which is pretty cool. The detail on this is really nice. I know it's kind of hard to see with the, uh, with the light, but... Maybe once I, I get them all assembled and built, um, Maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll get them primed. I'll prime them black and then, or like a gray color or something darker gray, and then it might be easier to see the um, see the details on the stream. But the details are really nice. Assuming these are resin cast, very few mold lines. Like it's, they're so clean. Like a slight mold line here, but you can't even see it. It's so tiny. These are really well designed. I like them. Cannot wait to get these built up and uh, eventually get to painting them. All right, so I'm just gonna go with this gun on this guy here. See how that looks. A bottle of glue.
just noticed a little bit of an extra flashing here. Remove that before I glue it. There. Can I glue this without there being a gap? Guess it has to be the right angle. Is I think this thing is a little bit too long here. Trim this little part here a little bit more. I think that'll do it. Glue my glue. pretty good so now um, pretty sure that these guys go on these small bases like it. Thirty millimeter bases. I need this little piece on this side here. I think we can just get rid of that. We can shine in a cloud, we never hesitate. Let us rise to the clouds. 
Shine in the crowd, we never hesitate. Let us rise to the clouds. Got nothing to lose, I know the time is right. Let us light up the fuse. And I know what I know, what I know, what I know. We're perfect, you and I. And I know that I don't, and I don't, and I don't give it up without a fight. What I feel, what I feel, I know it's right. Let us start to make the light. I really like the uh, the stance that uh, like it's a very um, ah, it's so hard to see the light is so bright. Let me see if I can turn off this light just for a sec here. You guys should be able to get a better view of some of the details on this. That is the first troop from the um, Cybertronic troops. And we're going to move on to the next one, which will be this guy here. Take the arms and just trim them a little bit so that they fit into the slot real easy. Oops. Not much to clean up on this as far as like mold lines or any flashing or anything. It's pretty clean. That always makes it easier to build stuff when you have. Um, high quality miniature that doesn't require a lot of modifying to make it fit properly something like that I wonder if I should glue one arm at a time let's try that let me try gluing one side first let's see if that'll work a little bit better. trying to do that so that I can 
make this completely flush so there's no gap there. It looked like it worked. This resin, I'm assuming this is a resin that they're using, it's actually pretty flexible. Like it, it's got a little bit of a bend to it, which makes it easier to build this because it's not brittle. So you can kind of move things around a little bit. So these are the troops, Cybertronic troops, for Warzone Resurrection. And while I glue this guy to the base, I'm going to switch to, um, I'll show you guys some of the photos that uh, Protos Games sent me. These are some of the miniatures in this line of uh, for Warzone. Uh, Resurrection. I really like them. I think the uh, the sculpts are really well done, and the details really really nice. And so far, the build is pretty easy. So. Pretty happy with this so far. So I'm pretty new to. Um, I wasn't around. This is the second. I believe this is the second version of Warzone Chronicles um, that just came out. That's what they're releasing. So it's like a re-release. go so this guy's ready for a base clean this up just a little bit This guy's really running forward. The poses on these are pretty dynamic. Like they really look like they're moving, not just standing there with the guns. Right, if you look at the I like the poses. All right, let's work on the next one. So we'll do this guy. Again, not really much in terms of cleanup. Like very little flashing, almost no mold lines. Super easy. I'm pretty impressed with uh, with what Proto Schemes has done so far with this. All right. 
So one of these guys has a... Let's take a look. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got one with a gun like this. And then we've got another one of these guns. I'm going to put that one aside because we've already built a couple with these. Let's see what kind of options we have here. We have this one-handed one weapon. So if that's a one-handed weapon, then I guess that would be the other hand. I'm assuming. We've got another one of these. That's another left hand. And this is another right hand. And what do we have here? Another one of these. Okay, so I've got um, three more, three more miniatures. Three more torsos, and I've got. Um, well, we've got a bunch of different options here. We've got these two. That'll be one set, second set, third set. But then we also have these couple of these single-handed options. So we've already got this gun here is the same as that one. So I'm not gonna. I'll put these aside. I'll build one with this. I have no idea what these guns, what the differences between these guns are um, in terms of gameplay as of right now. So I'm just going to go with uh, whatever looks good. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to figure out stats on these guns or if it even makes a difference which one we pick. All right, so for this gun, let's see if there's a... Yeah, this guy, that would work. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like it would look better. There we go, like that. So it kind of looks like he's shooting a, almost like a bazooka or something, or a rocket launcher. Not sure what kind of weapon that is. Some sort of heavy, heavy weapon. And if you're just tuning into the stream right now, what I'm building is. Um, uh, a couple of starter sets for uh, Warzone Resurrection from Protos Games. They just recently released the uh, second version of the game, the new rule set, and I'm going to be building a couple of the uh, starter armies, and then on a future stream. I'm going to be giving away a two-player starter set as well. So if you're, um, it'll be a, it'll be like a, you'll be able to get raffle tickets and then uh, get a chance to win. So if you're watching my stream, you're actually earning uh, creds, which is my stream currency. And when I do the giveaway on a future stream you'll be able to redeem some of those creds for um, raffle tickets and the more raffle tickets you get the higher chances of winning one of these sets okay so let me get a few more bases here
Man, I really like the detail on these. Like, it's... I don't know if it, that's going to make it easier to paint or harder, but... Protos did a great job with these sculpts. There's the third one. And I think for the next guy, I'm going to try one of these one-handed weapons. Maybe not that one. I kind of like this one better. Yeah, let's try this one. Again, very little cleanup. Almost no cleanup required at all. Let's see. Would this guy fit better with this? Yeah, I like the way that this guy looks with this gun. Okay, uh, let's see, how would we want to pose this arm? Something like that? Yep, that looks good. A little bit of extra resin on the uh, on the soles of their feet here, but really easy to clean that up, so no big deal at all.
Another really dynamic pose. All these guys look like they're running into battle. Okay, so we got one more left, and I think I'm gonna go with another one handed weapon type thing. So I'm assuming I cut this little part off. Now, is this one of these ones where I have to... I think so. I think this other hand here attaches to the gun, I think. We will see in a second here. Okay, so this one goes like that. Question is, does this one support the gun from the bottom yeah I think it kind of goes like this yeah so now the question is actually I could do it like that Or even with it down. Let's see. Make this one arm down. Kind of as if he's not holding the gun. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I like that. That stands better. One arm down. I know it's hard to see because the light is so bright, but. Once they're glued, I'll show you guys. <clears throat> I'll turn that light off. So this one, I'm gonna hold it up like that. And this arm is gonna be kind of down. Ah, uh, why is this one so hard to do? Come on, get in there. There we go. Just like that. I think I need a little bit more glue here. That's the challenge. Just have to glue them to the base.
right, so that's those five guys. Save these extra arms, just in case I need them for something else. See if I can get this light. I'll turn that off. Maybe I can get a little bit of the. This guy needs this part clean up a bit. It's not easy to see the uh, the detail because the white's reflecting so much. I'll have to um, I'll have to do when I get them primed. I'll see if I can prime them either black or a darker gray, and then I think the light won't be so shiny. And you guys will actually get to see some of the great detail on these miniatures because they are really nice looking. So there's those five, and these are the Cybertronic troops. Here's what they look like painted. These are the Chassers, Chasers, Chassers, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I think Chassers. That's what they look like uh, painted. And once again, this is the Mutant Chronicles, Warzone Resurrection, um, two-player starter set, basically. It's a demo box that they sent me for, um, same kind of thing as they sent to, um, some of the uh, stores out there for demoing the game. So it comes with a little uh, miniature uh, rule set, demo rule set. Uh, you can also get the full rule set on their website. I believe the rule set is free. The new version is free, I believe. I think they have a hardcore, a hard, uh, hard uh, print version. But I think they also have. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think they also have on their website a, uh, a free version you can download as well. And their website is just uh, protosgames.com, I believe. Uh, let me check on that, actually. Yeah, protosgames.com. I'll, I'll link it in the, um, in the chat here for you guys. Make it easier. That's protosgames.com. <clears throat> so these are these five dudes. Now let me take a look and see what else we got here. So these are the other. Um, let's see if there's any other Cybertronic. What do the Cybertronic ones look like? So there's this guy. I think I'm going to build this guy next. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do this guy. So I'll put these guys aside. So this guy is a um, one of the heroes in from the Cybertronic 
faction. It's an Everasser. Everasser? Everasser? I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, here's what he looks like painted. It's a warlord, warlord slash uh, hero. Looks pretty cool. So let's get this guy built up. And this guy goes on a 40 millimeter base. Let's see what he looks like. Damn, this is really good, man. Like the the details on this is, are amazing. I like it. They did a really good job. Hard to see again on camera, I know, because of the uh, the light. It kind of if I put it too close, it washes it out. Wonder if I do. Let's see something here. Wonder if I do something like this. Yeah, you can see the details a little bit better on a white or on a white background because it doesn't wash out as much on the camera. As you can see, tons of detail on that. Like, look at that. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's do the cleanup. This resin of these is really cool. Like it, it works really. It's really easy to work with. That's what I'm trying to say here. So this arm. How does this arm go? Kind of goes on an angle like something like that. And this one points down. piece has to get cut off here. So everything you guys see here that I'm building, um, I will be giving away one of these sets on my stream on a future stream hey next level painting thank you for the host <laughs> where have i been i was uh i was in florida actually on vacation and prior to that i was just finishing up the last uh Last parts of my Kickstarter. And I went on a little vacation and just got back. And uh, I'm building some something totally different. I'm building up some uh, Mutant Chronicles Warzone Resurrection. Right now I'm building this guy here. I got two sets. Uh, I was in Orlando. Right beside, um, well, pretty close to Disney World. Disney World and uh, Universal Studios. It was a lot of fun. P 
People in Florida are so nice. Super nice. Like, I mean, the locals. I was really um, impressed by that. Like, some of the friendliest people I've uh, I've met in a U.S. town. Like at every, all the stores and everywhere where people are working, super nice. Oh yeah, nice man. Yeah, Harry Potter World is, have you ever been be before? That place is amazing. It's probably, um, it was definitely the highlight for, for my wife. She loves Harry Potter as well, so. She absolutely loved Harry Potter World at Universal. Yeah, it's kind of like when you go to um, I don't know if you've been to the to Harry or to the Harry Potter world or whatever they call it there in uh, Universal, but it's like you're just walking around and I, we didn't you don't even really see it. It's just kind of like the side road, and then you walk through this one little area and all of a sudden it's like you're just in a totally different world. They did a really good job reproducing the uh, that little town there. That's kind of odd. It should be like that. I think it should be like this. Nope. It's gotta be like that. I didn't even know they had one in uh, in California. I've been to Universal in California, but that was like years ago. What was it, 2007 or something? 2006? I don't even know how long ago it was, but... The one at... Uh, the one in Florida is really nice. I'm not really into Harry Potter as much as my wife is, but um, yeah, she was really impressed with it. She was blown away. And they have these like interactive, if you're into that type of thing, you can actually get, um, you can buy like a, a wand when you're there one of these interactive wands and as you walk around different areas there's little things on the ground and um, you have this map and when you see certain symbols you wave the wand in a certain way and then it activates something in that area of the city like if you walk up to a fountain and you wave the wand in a certain way and you say the uh, incantation the fountain actually turns on it's kinda neat <laughs> yeah, they're they're a bit pricey. They're about fifty bucks for the uh, for the interactive ones. They also have just the regular ones, which are like, you know, the replicas, but they don't. They're not the interactive ones. Those are a little bit cheaper. I think they were like, I want to say twenty five, thirty bucks, and the interactive ones were like fifty.
Yeah, it's a neat little, uh, neat little place. There's a cool restaurant there too. It's almost like a. It's not exactly like it, but it's similar to. You know that school thing, in Harry Potter, where you have all the tables. Um, like the main dining room where they all sit and eat. It's kind of made to look similar to that. And the food there is actually pretty good. They have all kinds of different like uh, drinks that are from the movie. They have those like uh, jelly beans. They have the jelly beans that are like uh, it's like a I forget how many you get. It's like this little bag and it and it's got every flavor jelly bean. So some of them are like normal, like whatever banana, strawberry, um, whatever. But then some of them are like earwax, barf, just like in the movie. So you can um, when you eat them, you have no idea what you're gonna eat. Because there's no legend, it doesn't tell you what colors are what. You just kind of have to take a guess. These all look the same. Yeah, anyone who's, like I said, I'm not really a huge Harry Potter fan. I mean, I love, the movies were good. I watched them a few times. I never read the books myself, but, um, but anyone who's even remotely a fan of the movies, I think it's what they did there is really impressive. And the ride they have there is pretty cool too. They have like an interactive 3D slash 4D ride um, in the that you go through like the whatever you call it. Uh, I forgot the name, but it's like the you know the bank where you have the uh, little trolls or whatever they are. So they have an interactive ride for that, and then they also have the train that goes between the two different uh, the two different parts of Universal Studios. And train ride is pretty cool too. It's interactive, like you're on the train, but the where, where the windows are, instead of a window, it's like a screen. So it looks like you're you're going, but it's actually like there's stuff that happens there. I won't say too much about it, but it is cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, we went to Disney World and um, and Universal when we were there. And out of all the areas, all the rides, all the things, Harry Potter World was the definitely was the uh, the highlight. The Transformers ride was pretty cool too. I like that one at Universal. For Disney World, I think, um, well, I'm sure you've been there a few times. The uh, Star Wars Star Tours is pretty cool too. I was a little bit surprised at Harry Potter World. Well, I don't know how the two movies fit together, but I was a little bit surprised they didn't do any promotions or anything for the new movie that's coming out. Like there was pretty much nothing there. Like not even t-shirts, nothing. There was zero merchandise or promos or 
I didn't see any books or anything for the uh, for the new movie that's coming out. The whatever that thing is called, the Beasts or something. Actually, I think they had one. I think they did have the um, the new Harry Potter book, the one that um, that she co-wrote with a couple other people. But they didn't have the uh, the Beasts one that was made into a movie. All right, so this guy's done. Looks pretty badass. These guys at Protos definitely know what they're doing as far as their sculpts. I like it. Love the detail on these. So, is there any other. What is this guy? Is this dude a Cybertronic guy or? Don't think so. This guy I think is. This is the next guy I'm going to build. Curacer Attila MK3. Looks like a... Looks kind of like a Terminator.
All right, so now for the arms. So this arm is going to be holding the gun. Something like that. This arm. Okay, I guess they give you two different head options, so you can... Let's see those. There's one, and this is what the other one looks like. I like the one that kind of looks more like a Terminator, so I'm gonna go with that one.
Okay, so the last piece for this guy is the gun. There we go, there's this guy. Okay, I think this might be, that might be the last one, unless this is another, who the heck is this guy? Okay, yeah, so this is, that was the last one from this, uh, from the Cybertronic faction that they sent me. So they sent me these troops, chassers, five of those, this guy here, and this, uh, hero model. So those ones are all assembled now. And then, uh, on the next stream, I'll probably be doing the, uh, <clears throat> the other uh, faction which is the Dark Legion so they sent me one of these guys and I think either this guy or that guy right there I, th 
think one of these two is in that starter set. And then for the troops, they sent me these ones, the uh, Undead Legionnaires. So I will be building that uh, on the next stream. And then I'll see if I can get, uh, between now and then, I'll see if I can get these guys all primed. Just so it's easier to see them because the camera really washes out the black. I'll, uh, sorry, the white. I'll turn that light off and you can kind of see the detail a little bit better. This guy looks cool. That looks like it'll be fun to paint. And this guy here. So once again, um, these are basically the uh, starter set for um, uh, what are they called again? Uh, Cybertronic troops. So the Cybertronic uh, starter set for Warzone Resurrection. Um, I'll build the uh, I'll build the other starter set uh, next stream and probably either next stream or the stream after that I'll be doing a giveaway where I'll be giving away um, another set of these so uh, exactly what you see here one set of these guys and um, one set of the other faction the Dark Legion and the little starter demo rule set. So you'll get one of these and uh, the bases, the dice, and the cards that uh, you need to play the game. I'll go through some of the cards right now. I've never actually played this game before. It's, um, it's new to me, but... Um, I got a couple of sets just to kind of uh, check them out, see what Protos Games has done with this. These are like resource cards. And these are all the stat cards for the uh, for the different minis. Everester. Chazers. Curacer Attila. These are the other guys. And these are the resource cards for, um, for the Legion. Hey, Rago. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, if you guys haven't followed my stream, I'd recommend uh, hitting that follow button so that you're notified when I'm doing... Uh, my schedule is a bit uh, wonky right now. Um, but you'll if you hit the follow button, you'll be notified. Twitch will send you an email. Or if you have the app on your phone, it'll send you a notification, hopefully, when I do go live. So that way uh, you don't miss the giveaway when I do it, which will be, I think, next stream or the one after that. Um... And the way the giveaway is going to work is uh, basically everybody who's on the stream right now or at any point in time, you're earning um, creds, which is my currency, my stream currency. If you hit exclamation point creds, it'll tell you how many you've earned. And um, the more you watch, you earn five creds per minute that you watch. The more you watch, the more credits you earn. And when I do the giveaways, uh, you'll be able to basically redeem... Uh, the creds for raffle tickets so the more creds you have the more raffle tickets you can get and that basically increases your chances of winning so people who tune in and watch my streams on a regular basis get uh, earn more creds and then they have a higher chance of winning when I do uh, when I do giveaways 
So this will be the first giveaway I'm doing and I do actually plan on doing quite a few more giveaways um, over the next um, I'd say probably two to three months I'll be doing quite a few and I'll do I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff not just uh, Warzone um, probably do some uh, Infinity giveaways some uh, Warhammer 40k Maybe some Age of Sigmar stuff. Maybe some uh, War Machine. We'll see. I have a bunch of Malifaux stuff too. Maybe I'll do some giveaways on Malifaux. We'll see what you guys like the best. So Before I tune out here, I've got... Um, I got some uh, photos that uh, Warzone or Protoss game sent me of uh, the Warzone minis. If you haven't checked out their website, just uh, head over to protossgames.com and uh, check out some of the miniatures that they sell. They look pretty cool. I've, I've been on their website quite a few times. I've looked at their miniatures. They look really good on the website, but I wasn't sure about the um, you know the actual detail level and the quality of the resin that they use um, which is why I ordered a couple sets to uh, to just to see check it out uh, now that I've actually built you know a bunch of these uh, guys I'm I'm really impressed I think it's uh, I think they're great so I'd, I'd really like to see Protos um, keep making minis hopefully they uh, they, this game takes off and they, um, they're able to continue to uh, make awesome miniatures because these ones look really cool. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to end it here and um, I'm trying to think when I'll be able to... I'll see if maybe I can get on tomorrow night um, and finish off that second, uh, that second set of minis. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of the... What are they called again? I know the ones I built today are Cybertronic. What are these? Here? Legion? Legion, that's what it is. So I'll see if I can finish off these Legion guys. This guy looks cool. Alakai, Ascendant. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Let me switch screens here. There you go. Look at this guy. That's a pretty badass model. I like it. So I'll be building him and a few other models on the next stream. And then after that, I'll be doing a giveaway. So the giveaway that I'm going to be doing is going to be for another new set. So it's not these ones that I'm building. It'll be an actual... Like I have another set that's unbuilt. Just like, you know, like baggies like this with all the stuff in it. So it's a brand new set you'll be able to uh, build yourself. All right, thanks it. That's it, guys, for this stream. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, everybody, Paul here from TabletopGamer.com, and I'm excited to announce that we are now on Patreon. Now, if you're not familiar with Patreon and what it is, it's essentially a way for you to support the video content that you love on a monthly basis. It's similar to Kickstarter, where you pledge a certain amount and then you receive certain rewards for those pledges, except with Patreon, you're pledging and receiving those rewards on a monthly basis. Now, the reason I'm launching this campaign on Patreon is because I want to accelerate our growth, which means I'll be able to produce more content and to produce more products and release them to the community at a much faster pace. Now, if you're watching this video on Patreon and you want to check out some of the rewards that you can qualify for uh, based on your pledges, just scroll down below you'll see all the different pledge levels you'll see the rewards that you can qualify for and if you're not watching this video on, on patreon if you're anywhere else on youtube or facebook wherever you're you're seeing this video simply click on the link below the video or the one that you see on the screen which will take you to our patreon page where you'll be able to check out all the different awards you can qualify for based on the different pledge levels i want to thank you for checking out this video and thank you for your continued support